Hey traders, Jason here from Lava Brothers. So in this video, I'm going to look at the major sectors, okay, like, you know, materials and healthcare and discretionary and financials and stuff like that. You know, there's always a debate on whether the market is supported, whether we have broad support or whether, you know, strength is concentrated into a couple groups and like maybe that suggests like a little bit of a, uh, you know, markets thin underneath the surface and, you know, which, which would be a little bit of a warning. So I'm going to look at the major sectors the vast majority of like all important stocks are going to be in these charts. So if these charts are doing well, by and large, then the market has good support. Now, if like half these charts look good and half these charts look bad, then we can conclude that, well, you know, the market's being dragged up by a, you know, a smaller portion of the market and we should be a little bit more careful. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over my a browser window and just look at the major groups. So here they are. Um, this is the performance over the last year here. You can see financials, utilities, et cetera, et cetera. Over the last year, the significance of the last year is that the market bottomed like the, um, approximately one year ago. So this is how much, what the market has done over the last year. You can see energy, just about 5%, but everything else, 20% to 45%. That's huge, huge, huge green, uh, gains over the last year. This looks pretty, pretty broad-based to me. Like the, there, the, if if we had a if we had a handful over here and then a bunch of green, a red over here or like much smaller green bars, maybe I'd be a little bit worried. But like this is like the vast majority of the market is up twenty to forty five percent. That's pretty darn good. The only one that's up a small amount is energy, and that's fine. If energy is just kind of middle of the road, not too high, not too low, that's probably best. So that's the last year. Here is year to date. Everything up eleven percent to thirty percent. Um, you could maybe say like, Hey, utilities aren't supposed to lead. Um, but I don't know. There's still a lot of gains here. Like financials are, are, are kind of important. Communication is Google and, and meta techs in the middle of the road. Um, I mean, this looks good to me. This is the, this is year to date. Everything's up, you know, 11, to, as I said, like 30%. If I look at the last six months, again, lots of green, most of them, you know, all about, you know, materials is up 9%, energy down a little bit, everything up at least 10%. Uh, zoom into the next last three months. This is probably the only warning I see is like tech is down over the last three months. Tech is controlled mostly by NVIDIA, Apple, and Microsoft. So, uh, you know, over the last three months, three months goes back to mid-July. But otherwise, we have pretty good gains with, you know, four of the groups being double digits. If I go back to one month, or I should just say zoom into one month, um, just noting that tech, which on the three month look back period was down, but on the one month look back, it's up 4.6%. So that tells me there was some weakness two months ago, three months ago, back in July, August, but you know it has fixed itself and it's, it's gone, uh, tech has gone positive. So again, a lot more green than red, okay? Like these, 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 these bars give us a visual because the bars are, are drawn in size proportional to the gains. Lots of big green bars, a couple of small red bars. And if I zoom in one week, one week doesn't really matter that much because I'm trying to look at the big picture here. Again, lots of green, only one red bar in energy. So this looks good. Okay. It's like everything at the market supported. It's not thin. There's good participation in lots of groups. The market is not being dragged higher by a small number of stocks and, or in a, in a couple of, of groups. So now I want to look at the actual charts. I'm just going to flip through them relatively quickly, uh, and just kind of see what they look like. All right. So here is, uh, here's materials. Obviously you can see, you know, trend up consolidation, some sort of breakout over here, moved up, came down, tested the 21, and now moving up again. Everything about this chart looks really good. Traders get impatient sometimes, but there's nothing wrong with you know, a multi-month uptrend, a consolidation for several months, and then a breakout. This looks really good. Here's communication services, which I said is mostly, not mostly, but Google and Meta have uh, a big chunk of it. And you can see, you know, nice rally, little give back, rally again, consolidate for a couple months, and then break out. And today it printed a new high. So everything about this looks good. Energy kind of blah, which again is fine. Not too high, not too low. That's perfect. If it was too high, it'd probably choke off growth. If it was too low, that would imply, 
you know, demand is, is low. Something in the middle is, is perfect. If you ask me, uh, financials, you know, can't get much better than this chart moves from bottom, bottom left to top, right, hitting another high today. You can see consolidation patterns along the way moves up, consolidates a little double top here. And we get a flush at the beginning of August when the carry trade news hit, but then it quickly recovered consolidation pattern here and then breakout again. This one looks really good. Industrials, same thing. It looks good. We got a nice rally here. Consolidate. I'm not trying to draw trend lines that capture everything, but just trying to show in general, we have a nice rally for a couple months, consolidate for a couple months and then break out and doing well. You know, higher high here comes back and tests one more time and then goes. This looks really good. Here's tech. Um, I mentioned earlier that tech had a must have had a bigger drop in July and August because the three month look back period was weak. And that's exactly what we see here. Tech's actually one of the weaker ones by virtue of the fact that it uh, it's not up to the high yet. But uh, the gain here with tech is just as good as anything else. It's that it dug itself a big hole over here. So if tech would have like fallen here and then consolidate it, it would be like up here right now. So like it's the big drop that, uh, that actually caused, um, that has actually has led to uh, tech not being at a high, but this is looking okay. A lot of other groups are uh, at their highs, uh, have much more of a, a, you know, bottom left to top right feel to it. Um, tech's lagging a little bit. It's okay. Uh, it's not, not the end of the world, but you know, it is what it is. Um, all right, let's move on. Here's consumer staples, bottom left, top right, just steady, 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 trend up, little little cup and handle here, then consolidation, consolidation, move up, come down to test the 50, now move up again. Everything about this chart is, you know, just picture perfect from a chart pattern standpoint. Real estate uh, looks good overall. I don't trade real estate, it just moves too slow. I mean, the re look at the scale over here, it's in like 50 cent intervals. So these moves are pretty slow. Uh, stock moves up, consolidate here for several months, breaks out and trends up. Everything looking good here. Uh, utilities, got a couple more charts here. Utilities looking good. I, you know, utilities were doing well while interest rates were 5%, which is incredible because typically if, if you can get risk-free money at the bank 5%, why would you take a chance with a utility that's paying a 4% dividend? Typically, uh, you know, a high interest rate environment would have utilities drop, but like utilities have been really strong all year. Okay. I don't really trade them, but it's like, there you go. Uh, healthcare is done perfectly fine. Trend up sideways, trend up sideways coming off its high. So it's, it's a, in the near term, it's one of the weaker groups by virtue of not being at its high. Uh, but you know, still bottom left, top, right, still participating overall. And then finally consumer discretionary. Um, this one has a lot of Amazon and Tesla, hence the big drop here, just like tech, uh, but it's still overall doing well. Okay. So Oh, and then here's the S&P 500. The net of all everything I just showed you is is this, uh, where the S&P is going from bottom left, top right, printed a new high yesterday, uh, coming back a little bit today, no big deal. All right, so anyone who says the market is thin, participation is weak, we're not, you know, strength is not broad based. It's all garbage. Like there's a lot of green out there on, and every look back period from like a week to a month to three months, six months, year to date, one year. A lot of green, very little red. Market is strong. It's healthy. It's trending up. Uh, and since tops take time to form, it's got enough goodwill built up that even if there were some shocks during earnings season, I think there's enough strength under the under the surface to backstop any losses uh, and just you know dampen any selling pressure. All right, we'll see you next time.